So the Tynemouth uh, Food Festival is done for today. It's on again tomorrow. By the time you see this, it'll be over. But uh, we went on the Saturday. It's on the Sunday as well. Um, I really enjoyed it, as you will see from a previous video or videos. Um, there's so much stuff there. I mean, it's quite small considering uh, where it is, but there's still a lot going on there, especially for any sort of foodies. Um, I figured I'd just go there, have a look around, maybe get some lunch, that's it. We've got a cat there, by the way. That's our cat. She wants to be in the video. So, yeah, I thought I'd just go there, have some food, have see what's around, that's it. But no, I decided I wanted to get more food. So, uh, the first thing I got was this. Wigga Waggas Chili uh, Mayo. It's really good stuff, this. Like, um, I think I tried it in one of the videos, but um, if you ever had Perinays at uh, Nando's, it's similar to that, but it's got a spicier kick. Um, I really enjoyed it. I reckon that'll go amazing with like some chips. Um, the other thing I got, I'm going to sound really hipster and middle class with this, but got some smoked mushroom pate. Really smooth. Um, it's really nice, creamy texture. Literally, the only ingredients in this is butter, mushrooms, and garlic, pretty much. So, it's a pretty simple recipe, but um, it's the texture of it. It's really good. Um, I need to get some good crusty bread for that. Um, the next thing was, got three different types of cheese. Uh, the first one, yeah, I know, I'm sounding here. Mango chili cheese. Now... It sounded weird at first, but when I tried it, I was like, whoa, this is really nice. It's got a nice sweetness. And then right at the end, you get like the chilli coming through. So I don't know how if this will melt very well. I mean, they're all cheddars, but I'll probably just have it like maybe on crackers or something. Or maybe just on some like, um, again, like crusty bread. Uh, this one was mostly for Susie, but this is like herb and garlic I want. Um, this is a really strong garlicky taste, so it's really savoury. Um, I reckon that'll go well with like maybe some chicken or something. That'll be pretty delicious, I think. Um, but it, it, that was good. And then finally, the other one I got was a caramelised red onion. Had a nice sweet kick to it. Uh, thanks to red onion, that it's really tasty. It's different from that because um, you don't get like a chilli kick. Um, it's, a lot, it's a bit sweeter and tangier. Whereas this is just a sweet note in the back. And then <laughs> the thing that really um, was a surprise to me was I got chocolate. Um, don't get me wrong, I like chocolate, but I'm not the biggest chocolate fan. Um, it's, I don't go thinking, yeah, I need to have some chocolate. I'm, yeah, I'm going to buy some chocolate. More than that, I would probably bought some chicken. I didn't buy any meat this time around, which is a strange thing. It's that I got chocolate. Um, so I got these fancy state size style ones. So this is... Uh, caramel caramel apple belly so and it really does have like a taste of like an apple pie um it, it and you get the apple right at the end of it a lot of it's just sweetness uh through like the caramel and the chocolate but then the apple hits in there which is good maple bacon uh it's it's exactly what it says it tastes like maple syrup uh pancakes but then you get like a little bit of a saltiness at the end uh which uh, breaks up Texas barbecue. I haven't tried this one yet, but it really interested me. It's got beef stock, Texas spice, and chili in milk chocolate. So the guy said it tastes like a chili con carne, which is going to be interesting. Not sure how that's going to go. Um, Susie decided to get cookies and cream, which I'm probably going to try and steal at some point. Um, the Texas barbecue and the maple bacon as well. Um, so this was my haul from. Uh, the the food thing, uh, Wigga Wagga chilies place. Oh my god, I just realized this is, this is saying what's available, but he's also got like some recipes to try. That's amazing. I might even try some of this. That looks good. A Scotch bonnet cooking chili paste, African curry paste, and some Wigga Wagga chili cocoa. Oh my god, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start making it. Bye, everyone.